Hi friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome if you're new. I wanted to bring you along on a flip through of the last journal in 2023. So this is my creative daily journal for December of 2023. And it's now currently February and we haven't flipped it and I'm catching up on my flips. So I wanted to bring you along. If you'd like to see how I made this journal, I, um, this is a one of a kind. I've never done this before. Uh, I received a very, very sweet happy mail. Um, and it had a, it had this journal in it made out of envelopes. And, um, and I added, I made another half the second signature and then I bound them together to make one journal and so it is unlike any journal I've made before and I absolutely love it and so let's you know let's take a look it's essentially like the same style and size as what I very commonly do but it yeah it's super cool so uh, on the outside I have lots of tags and dangles just of Christmas stuff and bells and little things off gifts and coffee cards and things from Happy Mail. So they're all tangled and yummy and delicious and hanging off the side. The actual cover is just a piece of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper cut in two. Uh, we added this. There's a video below in my make a journal playlist of this journal being made of most of my journals being made. This one's on there. And then this was, uh, you know, the extra part of this scrapbooking paper, right? Cut out the picture part and glued on the front and some Christmas ribbon from a gift. So that's that's the journal in and of itself. So let's see if I have you and can I get you any closer? Just a tad. Okay, here we go. This is just a napkin um, from like I think actually from school, um, but I love Ray Dunn. I never got completely into the collecting, like crazy collecting, but I do have quite a few pieces and I do, I do like it. So um, that was fun. Okay, so here is um, the first signature. And now this, this entire journal is made out of envelopes. Um, yeah, and it came with a lot of the fodder in it. And so I took a lot. I took everything out and then I tried to kind of distribute it throughout the journal so it looked a little bit um, more seamless, I guess, it, not so disjointed. So, and then I added in some other papers that I had to try and match. And anyway, I just, I had the best time. I had the best time with this. It was so much fun. So, okay. The first of December was a Friday and let me get this out of my way. Uh, I just, and again, this is a good, this is another great example. Oh, two things are different about this. Uh, what I was going to say is this is a great example of another journal that has very minimal writing on some pages and that is okay. Like I'm not going to go back. I've gone through whatever I have to go through and like if there's nothing on the page, that means that day did not get documented. So some of these pages are empty. All right. Um, the other thing about this journal is there's only one page per day. Now, normally I do a double page layout, but because, um, because this was like already built the way it was. And because December I knew would be a little crazy. I genuinely didn't think I would need a double page layout and I was absolutely correct. So that is different about this one as well. So it's one page per day. And sometimes I got a little like, Ooh, confused. And so it's actually like, this is Friday. This is Saturday. So that's new for me as well. All right. So this is Friday. I have a tag in here from a squishy guy that I took to work. Uh, the kids loved him. I have my coffee stick in here from coffee this morning. And that's what I wrote on the tag. So I made this little, um, tag to kind of match, right? And that's what it says. It says I took my new squishy joy to work and I had Starbucks. I mean, that's the extent of it, folks. All right. Saturday the 2nd, I made another um, tag. Let's see. Went to Saturday workout. Oh, redid the row challenge today and um, had a new partner. There was a challenge this week to row a certain distance or calories. I can't remember in a certain amount of time. And depending on your time um, is the amount of points you got. 
and I tried it with my um, my friend and partner who I normally work out with and we missed it by two seconds and we were just like there's just no way and so we both redid the challenge this day and chose male partners and both made the lower cut even like we almost took 25 seconds off of our time and that's the difference I, you know anyway so that was a pretty cool pretty cool Saturday workout but that's literally all I I wrote about so um, so like this, um, card was on here. I added numbers, obviously. These numbers are from Sweet Melissa. Where's my notes? Where's my notes? Let's start a note. Uh, December, Melissa. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so I added that. I added, you know, stickers and stuff, but all of this little, see this tuck spot up here? I didn't even use it. So dang cute. This is a, like, label sticker thing I had. All right. The next day was Sunday. This bag was in here. How stinking cute is that? Um, we went for our walk and coffee. And then this is obviously my coffee cup. And so I just backed it with some, some paper, flattened it out or whatever, and wrote on here that uh, I got an eggnog latte that day with the gym crew. Had a good visit. Love this page. This day, so there's a lot of these um, flaps and tucks. I thought they were so cute. Rue sent this picture of whiskey today. It's his first snow. Oh my gosh, he loves it. It's so dang cute. But again, there's nothing about me, my husband. And, you know, in truth, that just means we had a normal day, quite frankly, like work, gym. That's it. I'm, I promise you. So, um, oh, <laughs> Um, hmm. that was my daddy's birthday. Hmm. So, um, I think I put this doily on. I'm not too sure. If not, I have the same ones, but love that. This is a little tuck spot up here. And all I did, I had this a little piece of paper and I'm not too sure if she included it or anyway I just tucked it in there and wrote a note about my dad's birthday um, here I just put it was a regular day at work and um, yeah same thing continually learning super busy it's it's kind of crazy busy now this was fun because she put a lot of these flaps in and or notepads and just glued them at the top so they you know there's a lot of room on here. If you wanted to like journal all behind here and everything, I added washi at the bottom. Um, oh, Thursday the 7th. So um, we have to take a picture and submit our um, calories when we finish them for the week. And so that was my picture I sent the coach that week. And then I guess that doesn't open. Um, my boy came home this week. I put we were awake this time. Uh, so happy that he's home, knowing he's going to be home for a few weeks. I also put it, yeah, knowing each time may be the last as he gets closer to graduation. Yep. So um, I love this page. I love the sequins. Like, oh, so much inspiration. Oh, my gosh. This day was crazy. This day was crazy. Yeah, see the little tuck? So cute. I never do that. I'm going to, that's just such a great idea. <laughs> this, um... Normal day at work, right? Went to work. Um, my husband was still working with the neighbor about tree cutting because we live in an HOA and the trees have to be cut. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and I just simply said, you need to handle this because I'm going to not be happy. But anyway, um, my poor son, he called me at like, I don't even know, 3.34. He's like, mom, uh, Uncle Eric's here. I'm like, what? Um, and my sweet uncle, who's 90 years old, um, drove like six hours to our house. I didn't know he was coming today. Um, I thought he was coming the next day. And so, um, yeah, my poor boy went for his run. And <laughs> as he was running, like some guy was driving and he like waved and my son waves back. We live in a nice, friendly, small town. <laughs> and so he's like, hmm, that looks like Uncle Eric. And then he um, he gets home and Uncle Eric's sitting in our living room. <laughs> it 
And so I'm like, no way. So I pack up my stuff real quick from work and I hop in the car and um, I grab some pizzas and some beer on the way home. And um, it's like pizza you cook at home. It, um, they custom make it the way you want it. And then you cook it on your own at home. So um, ordered two pizzas, picked them up, grabbed some beer, drove it home, let them cook it. My poor boy like entertained him all night. And uh, my husband and I went to the gym. <laughs> Oh my God, I was dying. Um, so he, uh, he actually had a conference today in Seattle, which is why he was came, came up. So anyway, he left early in the morning this morning. Uh, my husband went to work and my son and I went to the gym and um, he did a challenge with me. This week's challenge was um, a burpee challenge. So uh, he did that with me. And then it was bring a friend point week also. And so... I brought him as my friend and we brought his girlfriend as my friend's friend uh, to get points for our team. Yeah. So then my, my, um, my husband had to work late and then my son. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then we all went to pancakes after. And my boy ran. My boy ran to pancakes. God, he's amazing. Um, my husband had to work late and my son had plans with his girlfriend. And so it was just myself and my uncle for dinner and we were going to go out to dinner, but he was so tired after driving back, uh, we decided to watch a movie. He picked out, did I put that on there? Oh, um, I should put that on here and, um, watched, I forgot what, um, cool sub movie. Uh, it's interesting cause he was, he was in the Navy and on the submarines. And so he chose a movie on Netflix, I guess. I forgot the name of it. I should look it up, but it was very good and he really enjoyed it and said it was very like realistic and, um, yeah, it was just great. So he and I kind of had like stay at home movie date night. It was very, it was very fun. It was very fun. I love this pocket. I love this pocket she made. Do you see like the scrapbook paper here? And then she took another piece of like similar same and cut it out and just it's so seamless anyway in this fun tag I took a picture of my boy in his San Fran gear and um, he's so cute in his gear he stayed home to watch the the game with my husband um, they have they have great yeah they have great times and then my husband actually made a really great breakfast oh excuse me great breakfast this day before my uncle got back on the road so we all had a nice breakfast together it was very nice this is Monday the 11th and my boy had his last final today. I just said it's so cool that like he can come home and still take it online. I think that's cool. And then I put, uh, let's see, my husband, I hit the gym because we went to work. Oh yeah. So it's still, it's friend week. So, oh, I invited my personal trainer, my physical therapist, not my personal trainer. He's kind of my personal trainer, uh, quite frankly, um, my physical therapist from the gym to come to CrossFit with me this week. Oh my God. And so, uh, yeah, that was fun to work out with him. He was dying. I loved it. Um, this is a beautiful example of a page with nothing on it. Now she had this corner here. I added this and the number and I added this flap here. I don't have any idea what Tuesday, the 12th of December had in tow for us. I mean, I know I went to the gym, um, I know I went to work into the gym. That's what I know. I'm sure my husband was at work and also went to the gym. That's, but nothing got documented. So, and it's okay. Same with Wednesday the 13th. It's okay. It is what it is. All right. On Thursday the 14th. Oh, I finished my total calories for the entire challenge. So I took that picture there and, oh my gosh. Okay. So this one says, Oh, my daughter and her boyfriend had their last final today. She sent this cute picture. And my son took his GMAT today. That's right. Thursday. Yep. Thursday. Oh, he scored pretty well. He wasn't sure if he was going to retake it. Um, we now know he's not going to, but at that point, um, but that was a long day. He'd been studying for that. That's pretty awesome. We went to the gym this night. Yep. We went to the gym this night. There's a huge competition for the team that brings the most food for the food bank. And while we were there, um, the other team brought in a bunch of food and we're like, we're going to lose. And we're like, oh, we're not losing. And so we were texting people on our team and they started Venmoing us money. And they're like, will you please go to Costco? Um, Cause it's open till 10. And so 
we left the gym at like eight o'clock at night. We went to Costco and we got two of these carts. The money just kept coming. It was like 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 25 bucks, 30 bucks. 30. Like we bought, I don't even know. Well, I know what we bought. We bought $500 worth of canned food at Costco that night. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So that was fun. That was fun. All right. Friday the 15th, um, I weighed in for my final weigh-in at the gym and then I went to work. My husband came home early. Oh, he ordered all the Christmas food. Um, no gym. Oh, I watched Reacher. Mailed packages. And my son and his girlfriend went to Pullman. And I had a yummy hot cocoa and a bath tonight. <laughs> Uh, okay. This page is fun. Um, I tipped an envelope in here. This is our, um, oh, I put right here, squirrel proof bird feeder. And you can see the squirrel. He's literally just sitting on it like as a picnic bench. Love this envelope in here. Let's see. I put lots of things in here because this is Saturday. So I wore my new, I know exactly what I did. I don't even have to look at these. Yep. Okay. So I went to the gym in the morning. I showered at the gym. I drove to Seattle for lashes because uh, my lash guy moved up there. So it's an hour plus, right? Had the most incredible lash appointment and like facial and head and neck massage. And then um, like sound therapy room. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. So, um, so that's that card just so proud of him. Like just ugh, so amazing. Uh, went to the gym. So then, yeah, no time. Right. I didn't. So I drove straight to the gym Christmas party. Mm hmm. Yep. I didn't win. Super bummed. But our team won the team event. But yeah, I didn't win. Kind of bummed about that. And then, um, oh, I wore my new shirt today that my friend sent me for Christmas. Super, super cute and love it a lot. So does that fit like that? I think it does. And we can close it maybe. Not really. Has to go in sideways. All right. So there we go. And then uh, let's see. Rue sent pictures from the game. The, the Grizzlies. It was a tough game at halftime. They were not winning. That's her halftime. And then, but they ended up winning. So that was fun. And then the boy and his girlfriend were at Apple cup for, uh, the Wazoo versus UW game. And this day, the 17th, my girl came home with whiskey doodle in the back. Look at him. He's so cute. So she, um, she drove home this day. Yep. Rue home. And we ended up decorating the tree tonight and that was just amazing. Monday the 18th, she had a babysitting gig to get to already, going to work. Day she got back and um, <laughs> Whiskey stayed home with the boy. Oh my gosh. Yep, I went to work in the gym and Eric worked. All right, Tuesday. Oh, this is interesting. I don't have anything on this page and I have a note here and I literally don't know what it means. And I tipped this in. Um, Okay, that, that I'm going to go back and figure out because that I, I made myself a note and I put a thing in here. I need to figure that out. So don't know what happened on the 19th. We'll, we'll check it out. Um, one of these days, I think Wednesday, it doesn't matter. I finished my pumpkin pie quest protein bars and they are delicious. I may order more. I'm not too sure. I'm a little out of my pumpkin phase right now. Um, but they were like limited and blah, blah, blah. I love them. This was a fun day because, um, look at one of the little kids gave me their ornament. It's like on wood and they drew so dang cute. This is a really fun tag and, um, from sweet Cynthia, but let's just see. Oh yeah. I've been hoarding that since December, 2021, 2021. Oh, and we're having problems with my tape sticking again. So beautiful. Oh, Cynthia, we'll write you on my list here. Um, okay. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, oh, fun taco night with the gym crew. Yeah. So we all went to the gym and then we went to, we went to tacos after. Yep. Always loved the laughs. This was kind of like 
the last time we were going to see each other through the holidays, right? Because people started doing their own thing and family in town and all that kind of stuff. So we kind of went out to celebrate. Nothing formal, but this day I went to work and I came home. And <laughs> this, uh, this picture is from Pam from a long time ago, but it cracks me up. And the gingerbread man's kind of like waving, I guess, and he's waving. So I put goodbye oven <laughs> because... Uh, I came home to bake all my bread for the holiday and to take to work the next day. And my oven was kaput. Zero, not a, no oven. And I was like, no way. The, like, no way. Uh, we have family coming into town. We have Christmas. We have whatever. And we were just like, that's it. We can't do anything about it. Like, there's no. So, um, yeah, that's fun. Um, so I put, came home from work. Oh, so I went to work this day and the Grinch was at work, you guys. I'm not joking. I, um, I had a moment. I'm not, I, I ran. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I ran. Um, I think I told you this when I made the page. I work like my office is upstairs. And so I went downstairs and by the front door, the Grinch was there like greeting the kids as they came in. And I, 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 I quietly like turned around and started quickly walking the other way. And the Grinch started running up the stairs and like yelling after. And I'm like, absolutely not. It was like, it was out of a movie. I'm not joking. You know, in those movies when people are like in a hospital and they're running down the thing and there's no one there. And you're like, that's ridiculous. There's always someone in the hospital corridor. That's what the school hallway was like. There was no one there. I totally ran into one of the classes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was dying. I was dying. So anyway, um, yeah, they were laughing at me. It's okay. So um, we did have a work crisis at work this day. It was, it was not, it was not great. Um, anyway, and then I came home to bake bread and there's no oven. Yeah, so no oven for Christmas and for guests. I went to, oh, my sweet husband was like, I went to PT this night and I was like, we're getting Costco for dinner because my kids, um, love those chicken bake sandwich things, whatever. Um, yeah. So I got those for dinner and then my husband's like, I want to bring cookies to work tomorrow and I don't have an oven. So he's like, will you go get crumble cookies? And I was like, sure. So I went and got a lot of crumble cookie. Like it, they cost a lot of money. And I'm like, I think you can cut them into four. So he's like, no, I don't want to be cheap. I want everyone to have their own cookie. It it was a lot of money on cookies. So anyway, I put that there. So um, this day we finished this bag of coffee. Really love that. Oh, we started babysitting our uh, little dog that we dog sit sometimes. They brought him over. And then in here I put, uh, went to work today. Oh, last day before the holiday. Yeah. My daughter's car is still in the shop. Crazy traffic on the way home. Went to the gym. Oh, the boy called and said he was having trouble with the van. I went to meet him. And then my husband came to meet him and sent me to the gym. And then my husband's like, we can't fix it. I don't know what to do. It'll have to be towed in tomorrow. And I was like, okay. So it's like, dun, dun, dun. That's like the little pre, the pre prequel of what uh, might be happening. This is Saturday, the 23rd. We had a Christmas workout. My husband actually had to work. But, um, oh, and what do you know? We had leftover cookies. My husband took those cookies to work and they were like, dude, those are way too many cookies. You got to cut them like into fours. <laughs> so we brought a whole box home essentially. So I took them to the gym the next day after the, um, 12 days of Christmas workout. So that was super fun. Um, so did that. My husband towed the car, the van to his work and to the mechanic and the van is dead. Like our van is done done and so and it's like our extra car or whatever which is why my son's driving it while he's home from college but uh, just done I don't know I, it's heartbreaking but anyway um so my daughter and I went to the mall this is look Saturday the 23rd I worked until Friday the 22nd and this is Saturday the 23rd my first trip to the mall for Christmas shopping mm-hmm no I'm not joking no I'm not joking so all of y'all that get done in like July. Mm, I need to hang out with you more. Um, anyway, we went shopping. My son's girlfriend wanted pink Converse high tops. I kid you not. 
this one store had five shades of pink Converse high tops. What? Like, but not in her size. And I didn't know what color. It was a nightmare. Anyway, we did get some other things. We did get some other gifts. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of funny. But anyway, so that was the 23rd. Um, and then this day is my husband's boyfriend. My husband's boyfriend. What on earth? My husband's birthday. Um, so we got some ice cream and celebrated. He does, he's not a big birthday guy. So we try to, you know, we did go for a walk with our gym crew. We had a great morning walk. Um, took some pictures in the harbor. Uh, my husband actually found a very cool painted rock, um, like a Santa. They hide them around our town. It's, it's very cute. Anyway, um, and then we came home, watched football, and my daughter made him like a little snack board before we had dinner. Just very low key. We just we just do low key. He doesn't, like I said, um, the 25th is Christmas. I did do the two page spread for this one. That's what the plan was. So I'm really happy that we saved the space here. Let's see. We put some tags in here. This was a card that she gave me. And, um, when I made this half of the journal, I like made it into a pocket. I really love it. There's a piece of wrapping paper. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Super cute. This is just a tag with, um, like, you know, writing on it. Here's the obligatory like stockings picture of my kids. And I said, Whiskey's figuring it out. It's his first Christmas. He's taking it all in. He's such a good pup. Uh, I made this one out of a Christmas card. And then, oh, I said traditional wake up, Rue jumping in our bed. I love her so much. I said, I was already up. I've been over at the neighbors cooking our strata all morning since our oven's broken and we got new gear from both the kids' schools. We got hats with the burgies on them from my boy, and then um, our Roo got us Grizz stuff. So that's kind of fun. And then this one, look at that. Um, we were only allowed to buy the dog one present, and so we got a giant box, and uh, my husband bought all these toys for him. <laughs> and that beautiful Christmas sweater he has on. He has a parka over there. Oh my God, he's so stinking cute. I got these really cool spoons. These are my favorite kitchen utensil. And I got a red, white, and blue set. Oh my God, they're amazing. The old glory collection. Oh, um, yeah, we gave whiskey one gift. <laughs> it was a good day. It was a good day. My daughter got some um, official camouflage. And oh my, mm, my godson and... Oh, mom sent me Disney goofy chocolate. Love him, love him, love him. Isn't this a pretty envelope, you guys? I love that die cut. Love it. So I put this card in there and, oh, there's my husband in his pajamas and whiskey in his Christmas pajamas. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, the 26th. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, the 26th family came into town. So here's my craft room that needs to be turned into a bedroom. Uh-huh. So um, I stayed home and cleaned my room. My boy got new running shoes for Christmas that we got him. And so we he went for a run with my daughter following him in my car. And then um, his girlfriend, she picked up his girlfriend. He ran like 30 miles that day. It was insane. Um, and then my husband picked up his dad and his aunt. And so they were here. Gigi and Papa were here. And um, we had this really good streusel cake. I think I've shared that with you. Um, but anyway, it took them. I said, um, it didn't take long to settle into game night in the kitchen. So cool having family together. We're blessed. Um, and then Eric and I hit the gym. <laughs> and so... Um, we let them play games and then we hit the gym. This day we just were home, made some couscous. Oh, we went to Goodwill. They like to go thrifting when they come up. And oh, picked up a Happy Meal, made couscous with chicken and Greek olives. Yep, nice to be home. That's Wednesday. Thursday we went um, after work to a bar like... Um, like 45 minutes from us to see her son uh, and a band that was playing. So that was kind of fun. We all went together. That was neat. And I got, okay, so this is what ended up happening. I went to Goodwill and they had like these high tops that kind of look like Converse, like mm, sketchy, but you know what I mean? But they were, they were cheap. 
and I was going to return them. And so I bought them, but I wrapped them all fancy and I put, um, I put, um, money in the shoe. And so, um, I gave them to her like as a joke to pull out. And I was like, Oh my God, isn't this what you wanted? And she's like, yeah, yeah, they're cute. And I mean, I'm dying. Right. And my, my son's looking at me like, mom, you're such like, and so cause what is she going to say to me? Right. And so, so I'm like, and she doesn't. And so then she's not finding the money in them. And I'm like, oh, shoot. And so I'm like, oh, well, we'll try them on to make sure they fit. Right. And so, of course, she takes out the other shoe that doesn't have the money in it, takes the tissue out of it. I'm like, oh, my God. And so she has one shoe on. I'm like, we'll try them both on just to make sure. And then she pulls out the money and she's like, what's this? I'm like, honey, that's for the real shoes. I could not get you the pair you wanted because they're leaving in like two days. And so I tried to order them and everything, but they wouldn't have been here in time before they left. And so I was like, I couldn't get you the shoes you wanted. I want you to have the shoes you want. And she's like, oh my God, she was laughing so hard. I love it. So put a little note there about that. And then um, I was like, it's okay, sweetie. I'm going to return these. They're from Goodwill. And then um, and then she came to me later and like with my son and my son's like, mom, how much were those shoes or whatever? I'm like, I don't know, like, you know, 14 bucks or something. And he's like, well, she kind of wants to keep them like just for joke or just for like whatever. I was like, oh my God, of course you can keep them. Like just so funny. So anyway, it was just a funny memory. Uh, this is just from the bar. This is a coaster from the beer that um, they ordered. So that was kind of fun. I just put eyelet in it and, and hung it there. This day is the 29th. Um, I am liking, I'm proud of myself for this. I, I am liking that I finally use these circles. And so I just tipped them in all three of them. I kind of, I kind of like them. Um, my Rue got her hair done. She asked me to come with her. And so I sat and visited and we hung out and had coffee and just a little bit of girl time and got to catch up with her little hairdresser who ironically we found when we moved here, she was 12. Uh, she's had the same hairdresser. Um, and then the family, uh, the kids and Gigi and Papa went and played miniature golf and pool. And so they brought me back like scorecards and menu um from where they were that sort of thing and then my husband and I had his company party and this is like a dorky picture of me with my hair not even finished um we didn't get a picture together I know it was a bummer but anyway um I took this picture because I was sending my daughter pictures of my earrings like what earrings to wear <laughs> anyway I like this I like the three uh flaps on there so so that was a great night we had a great Christmas party um, it was, I think we both left there saying that was our favorite one. It was really, really fun. So, um, this is the 30th and every, not everybody, but, um, oh, I didn't finish journaling. Uh, not people are leaving. People are leaving this day. And so, um, my son and girlfriend left for St. Croix this day. And so, um, somebody took them to the airport. Her parents took them to the airport. They, they picked them up at our house got lunch and went to the airport. So they left. And then, um, Papa and Gigi went to the airport. So Rue drove them to the airport. Well, then there was a weird layover. So I don't even know, but they all ended up in the airport together. So they found each other and took a cute picture. They're so cute. I got a sweet gift from uh, Melissa today, um, with Christmas yummy and cocoa and potpourri and just so sweet. So I got that and my prompts. No, did they come together? can't remember. I think they did. And my prompts for the prompt challenge. So that was the 30th. So yeah, so that was kind of sad, not sad, but like, you know, a quiet of the house, right? Um, yeah. So that was that day. And then this day is New Year's Eve. And um, oh, I still have to finish this. I have stickies right here. Look who made the journal, friends. Look who made the journal. My friend, Tom, he has been in my bucket for a very long time. Um, and my husband and I finally watched MI6. No, M Mission Impossible 6. Yeah, MI6 today. Um, yeah, so that's our exciting December um, Eve. <laughs> we don't go out. Uh, we decided to watch a movie. I do have, um, I was hoping, I was hoping for a picture to put right here. I cut this for a picture to tuck in here. Um, because my kids were in St. Croix and Rue 
I forgot what she did, but do I have a picture? No, I do not. No, I do not. So we'll see. I cut another envelope here and put this little piece of paper in it. So that's available for journaling. Not a lot of journaling going on. I do want to journal that the date today was pretty cool. Um, oh, we did go on our walk this morning and got coffee. So I'll document that. The date today was 123123, which I think is fun. So we'll document that. And then what's today? Sunday. So Oh yeah, so this goes here. I didn't, I'll just put, I finished, um, I put my room back together this day. So I need to finish this documenting, but that's the end of the year. Um, oh, because my room was packed up. So um, this was all, I didn't, I didn't do a supply. So I still need to document my supplies. I only had three in December. There's my calendar for December. It will stay. I mean, I'm not going to add to it at this point, obviously. So that's that. Um, I'll document my supplies right here, maybe. And then these are my uh, journal page, my collage pages, which um, they're posting. They're posting now. Here's week one. The prompt was shopping. So that's kind of fun. Week two was holiday. Um, week three is believe. And week four, which Melissa sent me the prompts for, was jolly. And so I'm going to... Um, leave them in the back of my book like this because I did not also plan or tip them in um, to the Wednesdays when they did come out and I did them all in January anyway so I'm going to leave them all in the back of the book and that is the last book of 2023. I will go back and finish those two pages because I do have a sticky on both and I have a little bit of a note but it won't be much. I'll just journal a little bit like what's on the sticky and that will go on the shelf. It is, it's fat though. It's fat and yummy and delicious. Um, and I'm super happy that it holds so many good memories and even just the day-to-day -day memories of the things that we're blessed with, right? So you guys, that wraps up 2023 for me in my creative daily journal. That's all the flip throughs. If you want to see more, if you didn't see them, if you're new here, welcome. There's a playlist below for um, journal flip throughs. So you can go find them there. So, um, you know, thank you for that. I appreciate you being here. Um, if you have commented recently, please be patient with me. Um, it's taken me a while to get through my comments. So um, but I read every single one and I appreciate every single person here. And I love this community so much. And I'm so grateful for the year we had and grateful for this community for helping find a creative way to document it. So I'm grateful for all, all of you for that. So I hope you're having a great day. I hope your documenting is going well. Um, I appreciate all the inspiration and sharing of beautiful things like this amazing journal. And I appreciate you being here. So thanks for watching. I hope you had a great year. I hope you're having a good new year. And I hope you find something today that inspires you. Take care.